so uh, we will continue our discussion on uh, longest common subsequence so in the last lecture we had seen how to find the length of longest common subsequence and we had arrived at uh, this relationship that if the last characters of p and q match then include that character in the subsequence and do the same for till second last character of both p and q but if the last character do not match then uh, take the maximum of p m minus 2 q n minus 1 or and p m minus 1 q n minus 2 that is in one case ignore the last character of p and in the second case ignore the last character of q and whichever uh, length is maximum take that so let's write this logic in the code so we will start with the basic recursive approach first and then we will write the code for uh, the dynamic programming based solution or I was calling it P and Q so I will continue that so first case is if any string is of length 0 then the length of LCS will be 0 so this is the base case that we added otherwise we will compare the last characters so if P of M minus 1 is equal to Q of N minus 1 So we need a function for max. So let's define a max function. So I will define a pretty generic max function which will work for integer long and everything. If a is greater than 1, return a, else return b. So this is the recursive solution. Let's see what it prints. So what was our string? G A G A T V. X A T G T Y B C
prints for let me comment out this part yes so it correctly prints 4 so now I will write the DP waste solution so this signature will remain the same And here I will take one array to store the values of size m plus 1, n plus 1 so if any of the strings is empty this will correspond to that case then we will simply put 0 at that index and if the characters at that index are same then we will add that character include that character in LCS else take the maximum of the two neighbors one on the left and one on the top and then finally return L of M N now let's use this DP waste solution to print the length of longest common subsequence oh I did not change it okay let's modify it to DP and run it again it prints out 0 so why is it printing out 0 mm. oh we are we have not updated the we just calculated the value and did not store that so this step is just wasted and now it should work yes so now it prints 4 so this is the correct answer so with this I will end today's video in the next video we will see how to actually print the longest common subsequence so stay tuned for that thanks